Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and both questions today are going to be about slime molds which we also call Mexamycota and I want to start with the second question today what is contained within sporangia of Mexamycota and by the way here on the both pictures we can see reproductive structures of the slime molds these reproductive structures which we also call sporangia help us to identify strains and different species of the slime molds and within sporangia we can find spores and spores can be found in multiple numbers here and the spores are 1n so we can say haploid and here is a body of the slime mold and we say that in the body we can find multiple nuclei so the whole slime mold is a cellular or we can say also represent single cell but with multiple nuclei and this nuclei is deployed so we say 2n and spores are produced through the process of meiosis so spores are haploid so hence our answer variant C in the sporangia of the Mixamycota, we can find haploid spores. Now we can return to the first question. What conditions spore slug formation in slime molds? And instead of slug, we can say amoeba. So let's again take one spore here. So here's a spore and spore would germinate. So let's show it here. It burst open and amoeba would emerge and amoeba is one n haploid and it behaves as amoeba and you cannot tell the difference with other amoeba but what if the media where um, this amoeba grows would be water then it can grow flagella and we say this amoeba would be flagellated and this flagella would be used in order to swim in water and of course it's also going to be haploid so 1n in this stage haploid amoeba can live indefinitely long and in this stage it can propagate by uh, fission so binary fission and uh, one amoeba would produce two amoeba two daughter amoeba if conditions are going to be good amoeba would just propagate in this state its appearance depends on the medium and if conditions would be harsh then in this case amoeba can uh, grow thick wall around itself and we say this is going to be cyst in this condition this amoeba can stay for many years until conditions favorable conditions would return but harsh conditions can spur second scenario when two amoeba would join and form a single entity with single nucleus so they both has nucleus they both are one and haploid and when they would form a single body we say that this is going to be a nucleus which is 2n so we are going to get deployed zygote and then the zygote would grow it's not going to form any cell walls but it's going to stay single cell but number of nuclei would increase and the whole body also would increase in size sometimes slime molds can be as big as one square meter but still they're going to be single cell organism with multiple nuclei we also call this stage feeding plasmodium and feeding plasmodium can grow very large until again we'll meet another harsh conditions and this would trigger formation of propagation organs in the form of sporangia where through the process of meiosis haploid spores would be produced and the rest of the cycle you already know our answer to the first question, what conditions spore slug formation in a slime molds? Our answer is going to be answer A, harsh conditions. 
And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.